and I think it's good. So in previous videos, we already saw what is IoT. So in IoT, we already understood what is internet. And we also understood what is thing. But now question is, how will you connect this internet with thing? Correct. Because we saw internet is the global network of computers and systems. And thing is the physical device. Any physical device. Correct. So, but there I told you the condition. Any physical device which can be connected to other systems for internet is known as thing. So, how to make normal physical device a thing? So, here they come. Here comes the concept of connectivity and connecting our devices to the internet. So, let's say what is given on the website first. So, it is mentioned that to connect a thing to the internet, what we are connecting, the thing, the physical device. To the internet, you need to give the ability to communicate with other devices or systems or internet. Other devices or systems on the internet. Correct. So, basically we are telling We are trying to connect this thing with internet. Once the thing is connected with the internet, then it is open for entire world. Correct. So this is usually done by adding the small computer, the small computer or microcontroller or microprocessor to the thing and which can run software and connect to the internet using wireless or wired networks. Okay. So here we can run some terms. So one of those terms is a small computer let me just round it up. Microcontroller or a micro processor. Okay. So, uh, in easiest way, the microcontroller is a small computer and for a moment you can say microprocessor is also the same okay i hope you understood this total okay so we know our computers can run this software in similar way this small computers also can run this software and connect to the internet using wireless or wired network. Okay. So now let's see some of the most popular ways to connect with the internet. So one of the most popular way is using Wi-Fi. So in your home also you must have using the Wi-Fi at your home 
office, colleges, schools. So what you do? You connect your mobile to the Wi-Fi network. And that Wi-Fi network enable you, enable your device to go to the internet or surf the internet. So this is not a new technology. This is pretty handy. Now let's see what we are given. So if thing is located with Wi-Fi range of a Wi-Fi network, you can add Wi-Fi module or chip to it and configure it to connect to the network. This is how many smart home appliances, devices such as smart speaker, smart thermostat, smart lights are connected to the internet. So just like how you connect to your connect your mobile to the Wi-Fi. So generally what you do, there are some Wi-Fi, correct? Wi-Fi model. And you just connect your mobile to the Wi-Fi. Correct. And by connecting this mobile to Wi-Fi, you access the internet. Because this modem have the internet, this Wi-Fi router have the internet. Who provides this? Your internet provider. It may be Geo, it may be Airtel. It differs. But you, I hope you got the idea. So in similar way, what we do? We connect our things to the Wi-Fi. How we do? So there are physical devices. Now, in previous section here, I mentioned about the microcontroller and microprocessor. So we connected you to the microcontroller and microprocessor or microprocessor. If you observe or if you know your mobile have an IC, that is the network interface chip. So you can connect or you can embed the NIC network interface chip with your microcontroller also. And once that is done, you can access the network. So if this NIC is Wi-Fi NIC network interface, this chip for Wi-Fi. Now you can connect with Wi-Fi if you are in the range of Wi-Fi. So now let's keep this idea in mind and let's see what all the other ways. Okay. So one way is using Wi-Fi. You connect your thing to the Wi-Fi and via the Wi-Fi, your physical device communicate with internet or connect with internet. The second way is cellular network. So I would say the cellular network you have used multiple times and you use on daily basis. So, it is also possible you are watching this video on your mobiles and you are using your SIM data. So, that internet which is coming from your network provider, your SIM, like Airtel or Geo, that internet is nothing but the cellular internet and you are connecting with the internet using the cellular network. So in similar way, if you connect your NIC that uses the cellular network, 
you can connect to the internet using the cellular network. Let's see third way and final. So there could be many ways. I'm not telling there are only three ways to connect to the internet, but these three are most popular. So if you see the GPS trackers, that we use to track the track the cars and buses, they use they also use the cellular network to connect to the internet. If you see smartwatches and other variables. So many of them also use the cellular network to connect to the internet. And the third option is using Bluetooth. So, you may have wireless headphones, wireless speakers. And when you listen to this song, maybe your song is running on YouTube. Correct. Or Spotify or something. So, you are accessing this song. from the internet, but you are listening this song on your headphone or speaker. So how it is possible? So what is happening here? Your speaker or headphone connect with your mobile. Correct. Your headphone, consider this is your headphone, it connect with your mobile using Bluetooth. And your mobile also have the internet connectivity, maybe using the cellular, maybe using the Wi-Fi, doesn't matter. It have the internet connectivity and your mobile is getting that song from the internet and your headphone is getting the song from your mobile. So indirectly, your headphone is also connected with internet. So you also can connect any physical device to the internet in this similar fashion. If you choose the Bluetooth enable NIC network interface chip, then you can connect with your mobile or your system using the Bluetooth. And via your system or your mobile, your physical device is now connected with the internet. So I hope you understood how to connect your physical devices, your things with internet and how to make the IoT devices. So here I mentioned only three ways. Though this is not the only way to connect with the internet, but these three are most popular ways. So that's it for today's video. I hope you understood the concept. See you in the next video. Till then. Bye.